embattled governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, has secured the endorsement of all the governors of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the South-South to represent the main opposition party in the September governorship election in the state. However, the state deputy governor, Honorable Philip Shaibu, will be the sacrificial lamb for the deal which is expected to be wrapped up and announced early this week. It is believed that the deputy governor would be compensated with another position if the PDP wins the election. Close to the end of his first tenure, Governor Baseki was disqualified from contesting the primaries of his All Progressives Congress, APC, for the coming September election, which, may, which many say was as a result of his political fight, was former Edo State Governor and National Chairman of the party, Adam Sushumole. Over the weekend, Obaseki traveled to Port Harcourt in River State and Uyo Akwaibom State to see Governors Ie Sonwike and Emmanuel Udom to seek a final sealing of the deals for him to fly the PDP flag. He had earlier in Abuja met with Wike Udom and Delta State Governor Ifan Yokowa and Ben Ayadi of Cross River State in intense consultations. A reliable top PDP leader who pleaded anonymity to LA, ALSC that the outcome of the negotiations will be announced early this week when the National Working Committee, NWC, of the party would have given final approval to the agreement reached with Obaseki. Okay? So, all the... Everything is just turned towards the campaign to PDP. Of course, if he does not do the camp to PDP, <laughs> who will help? Or if he does not decamp to PDP, what has he, he has already, you know, he's already had in APC, they've done whatever they wanted to do, and he has said he does not even, he does not even want to appeal it. So if he's, if he's not going to decamp to PDP, it's not going to help him. It's not going to help him at all. So the best thing is to do is, even if he fails, even if he does not win, but at least, like somebody was writing that, at least he, he knows that he has already done something, has been able to push, not that, uh, you know, you will not have that uh, lever to do that which you want to do. But, well, I think uh, people will be wishing him good luck. A lot of people who are his supporters will be wishing him good luck. You know, it's just drama that they're just trying to entertain us. Let them continue to entertain us, but we will not be, um, we will not be part of the people who will not remember the main thing that they are supposed to do. We should be able to hold them accountable. You know, for good governance, whosoever that is coming for good governance. But we know that it's it has always always been uh this uh, motto of the time rhetoric, singing rhetoric, reading speeches and all of that. We are going to do this, we are going to do that. But what Nigerians really expect, the kind of growth, the kind of development we expect is not up to what we see. Because it's just like you know, just see moving around sake. We have not even gotten to that level that we say, Yes, indeed, yes, we have we are, we are we are we are there. It's still the same story, the same story, every now and then. So let us see how it's going to play out. Let's see how it's going to play out because for me, everybody has been calculating. Oshomole is calculating. Uh, himself is calculating. Some people will tell you, oh, why are they trying to bring in Oshomole into this? Oshomole is not contesting. Oshomole is just the party chairman and all of that. Of course, excuse us. We know all of those things that are happening. Oshomole is not the one contesting. But why is he having problem with Oshomole? Because Oshomole told Nigerians that Obasek is having problem with some of the party members that he told him just we can work with everybody. So if he just telling him work with everybody that he just have to bring everybody together. So why will he not be having problem with the same Oshomole? I think he should be having problem with the party people, but the whole thing is geared towards Oshomole. But let's see how it goes. The drama is just there. The everything new thing new new things will be unfolding every day for us to to see and see what will happen. A lot of people have said, oh, if Obaseki, anywhere he goes, that they will follow him. Of course, his supporters will follow him. Well, Edo State and indeed the South South State has always been a PDP state. It will be very easy election victory for the governor and PDP, but anything can happen. And those who are saying Obaseki is, is, a, is not a politician. So what does it take to be a politician? Because from what we are getting, the filler we are getting is that politicians, they, they do some kind of you know, they are into some kind of dubious character. That is what if people are telling us, oh, he does not he does not know how to play the game, he would have just started his second term 
before you start showing his character and all of that. You know, that is even the best thing. Just let people know who you are, what you can take and what you cannot take. Not that you'll be deceiving people. At the end of the day, you now start showing your color. You know, it is better. Even if he does not come back, I think he must have made up his mind that you no know, matter what, but you will know that he has tried his best. Yes, PDP took over, took Governor Obaseki to court over discrepancy in his certificates and lost the matter woefully because court found nothing wrong with his certificates. Of course, somebody, I listened to somebody on radio today, the same thing because if really everybody is saying, oh, uh, what uh, uh, made him not to get qualified in APC, that the same thing will haunt him back. And people are saying the same PDP used that against him. They went to court, but what not happened in court? That means the court said it was, non, it was a non-issue that it does not really apply. So if the court had already said that, so is it the court that will still come back again and say, oh, because of this and because of that? And that's why the whole thing is just like looking childish. That's a APC screening. It's looking childish. Even when the government or the institution, United, uh, University of Ibadan, still saying that this guy graduated from us. If you want all his records, they are with us. And yet they still form their own this thing that, no, this guy cannot fly under uh party under APC party. Okay. Just like somebody is saying that uh, uh the PDP took him to court and because of this uh, certificate saga and lost the matter woefully because court found nothing wrong with his certificate. Possibly that is that they will give him the ticket. Maybe that's why they want to give him the ticket. Now the question is don't Oshomole know that the issue of a basic certificate has been resolved in his favor by courts of competent jurisdiction hey hey why did apc use the issue of his certificate to screen him out knowing fully well that the matter has been settled in court and it stands as a precedence apc was very unjust to obaseki let him defect to pdp it will serve oshomole right Okay, someone said the court did not say Obaseki certificates are in order. They only said the papers were not filed within the stipulated time. My worry is about Nigerian politicians. Just wondering how the same PDP that said the man was not qualified to run will suddenly turn around to accept him to run under their party. See, a lot of people, in my opinion, with what people are saying, because some people might be following the whole thing, holistically because if the court said okay they didn't present their case as at when due because they use this issue of uh, certificates and they don't use this issue of certificates then whether pdp now found out okay what they said concerning the certificates court said that is not the true uh story of the oath you know that is not the right thing or they didn't present their whatever their case on time it's a different board game entirely if we say that then what happened to the same Oshomole that told us uh, Eze Yamu is a, is, a, is a thief? He said it. I'm not the one that said it. Oshomole said it. And he said that kind of person that the uh, treasury or the government or the whatever of the state cannot be given to such a person. He said it and he was sweating about it. The same o o Obaseki that he praised uh, to high heavens. You know, you know, who are we supposed to be blaming in all of these things? Is it not the same Oshomole that will say uh, red in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon we say white? In the in the night we say another thing. So is that kind of person, you know, is does not want you to really trust that kind of person. Well, the only thing I just know is that let them do the right thing. Anybody that is coming in, let them do the right thing. We don't want all this a uh, 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 development that is not really is not really that is that is not really standing out. That is what we are talking about. Good governance, like we I said, they are just entertaining Nigerians with all this a uh, back and forth. Uh, story another one says here that uh, he was being covered that time okay he was being covered that time who are the people that covered him the same mushumole covered that time and the same mushumole you people are saying is a is this is that nobody to cover him again that is the reason why he's supposed to check his credentials before now what are we talking about which credential are they talking about there is no smoke without fire is is to be blamed for his disqualification let oshomole try the the witch in which a maker, uh, in which a uh, wiki, and see how it would be, be for him. Okay, Obaseki is a liability to any party and stands no chance to win any election. Obaseki lost the election when he shot out 40 members of the assembly. He also lost again when he demolished a fellow party Ote and again a fellow party. <laughs> who is the fellow? Is Tony Kabaka? And again he lost when he alienated. 
his party stakeholders from the affairs of the party. That's what somebody is saying. And another says there that uh, you will see with your eyes when he will be governor under PDP out of the three senators in a do state, PDP have two and four reps. Okay, only one vote you have. PDP have taken over a do state because of greed of Fushumale. That is your person opinion or your personal opinion and doesn't represent the opinion of a do state. Okay, it's telling somebody that a uh, uh, Obaseki will not win and these people are really responding to that particular person. Mr. or Mrs. Analyst, are you the full compliments of the Edo electorate to decide the fate of Obaseki? Okay. I have prayed for more PDP states in, in Nigeria. I hope God will give me additional one soon. Yes, so it is becoming a balanced case. That is to tell you that God is on the side of Governor Baseki. The court and certificate issues are all politics. Nigeria politicians, we hate the in this are only Nigeria. God have mercy on us. PDP, please give ticket to Baseki and let us know who is popular between him and Oshomole in a do state. Don't sacrifice Philip. Hmm. He stood by Oba through thin and thick. Okay, it is stood by Obaseki. Philip Effion, a minority man, stood by Ojuku through the Biafra struggle and had the um, attacks of surrendering surrendering Biafra. January, our people are now dis disillusioned. Okay. Um, all I want to say is you should be careful with the decision because you don't make decision why angry and get good results and you don't promise why being happy. And she gets an expected uh, results. Of course, I believe hey, they have been they have been calculating themselves. I don't think he's going to take anything under rush because for him to have come out to say because he knew quite alright that the committee, the screening committee, will not favor him, and he cried out. And people are like, "Oh, why are you crying out now?" And as soon as the the results came out, he knew all of those things, and he said, "No, he's not going to appeal it." Uh, I, uh, for him to be, it's not just that; he's just moving now. No, we've been hearing this thing though. Oh, Obaseki might defeat, might, might go back to the PDP. But now it's happening. Some people tell you, oh, it is fake news. But now it is happening. Uh, it is happening. With, uh, we are seeing it with our own very eyes. Wow. Hmm. Agree that PDP took Obaseki to court on the issue of his certificate in 2016. This they eventually lost before a court of competent jurisdiction, even up to, this, up to the Supreme Court in the light of the above. This shall be referred to as a judicial precedence. I am of the opinion that Governor Basaki has every right to partake in the next governorship election position of his state and whosoever begins brings up a petition against him or on certificate issue will definitely fail. So APC beware your days are numbered in a dual state. So guys let us hear your opinion concerning these new developments. Thank you.